So sometimes when I work with uh, people individually or couples, um, the question comes up about how do you make the other person happy in a relationship? And that's sometimes a difficult question to answer because oftentimes we're not aware of what is it that makes me happy in a relationship? What is it that my partner could do for me that would make me the happiest? Or what could I actually do for them that would make them the happiness? And I'm going to give you uh, a list here. Um, Willard Harley has a list. It's from his book, um, His Needs, Her Needs. And it's a really interesting way of starting a discussion about this, about what it is you want and what your partner wants. How can you make your partner happiest? And how can they make you happiest? Because that's really the, the equation. That's the, that's the role. That's what, that's what we're after here. Build greater happiness, build greater connection, build greater love, and the relationship will be on a, a much uh, sounder foundation, right? A much firmer foundation. So I'm just going to read off the list here and see if anything jumps out at you. Because, okay, there, there is a lot of research done on this in terms of uh, what the male partner tends to want and what the female partner tends to want. But really forget that. Because nobody really knows what your, if you're watching this video, what your emotional needs are or what your partner's emotional needs are. Because you're both individuals, you're unique, you know, you can't apply a template about, you know, men and women, a general generalizations like that to a, an individual. Because your, your emotional needs, what makes you happiest is very unique to you. So the first one here is affection. Many, many people think affection in a relationship is so important and it's the thing that will make many people the happiest now affection is a general term but really what it means is I need to feel like I'm important to my partner it looks like you know little things that they do to, to show me that I'm a priority in their life so that's one Okay, I'm going to keep these pretty short for now, but how do you feel as you watch this about that? Is that something that is important to you? The next one is pretty obvious in all relationships. It is a part of it, but it's, it's sexual fulfillment. So for many people, that's going to be an important part of the relationship. How important is that to you? Where would you rank that? I want you to kind of sit there and just let these sit with you and think, okay, where, am I, where would I prioritize these? Because... The, the idea will eventually be to communicate these needs to your partner and it's better if you can prioritize them because having them prioritized makes it easier for the partner to meet those needs. If some of them are more important than others, they know where to, to, to the areas that they have to kind of focus on primarily. The third one is huge as well. And it's also, it's called intimate conversation. So for many people, they would say if intimate conversation is missing, from a, a, the relationship. It's not even a relationship. That's how fun, fundamental it is. So in, intimate conversation is we talk about our hopes, our dreams, our fears, our disappointments, what we want for the future. And oftentimes it's things like this, sitting down with your partner and talking about what your emotional needs are. How are you doing with your emotional needs? How can I help meet your emotional needs better? And communicating what your own emotional needs are. That's what intimate conversation is. It's about sharing your life through conversation. So how's that one for you? The next one is recreational companionship. So this is, in other words, many people really want to include and be with their partner doing fun things, having fun things, adventurous things, enjoyable things, recreation. That's a huge, that's a huge one too. The next one is honesty and openness. This one will tend, to, oftentimes, this one is important for uh, people who maybe have been in bad relationships before where honesty was an issue. There was maybe a lack of it. Or trust is an issue. Um, so honesty and openness is very important. Some people will have that at the top of the list, you know. Personally, I think that one is very important. I think that's one, that one is right up near the top because... One of the things that I talk about in my course, for instance, is judgments come into a relationship. And sometimes if we hide judgments from our partner, 
you know, we judge them, they judge us, and we don't want to talk about these things. We don't want, we were avoiding conflict. This is in healthy, in all healthy relationships, this is a part of it, right? Honesty and openness is a way for you to actually talk through those things rather than keeping them from each other. And then having like passive aggressive behavior come out, which can hurt the connection between you and your partner. So honesty and openness. Obviously that applies to just no secrets, telling each other what things are really like. The next one is many people would say physical attraction is important. Now that's not to say that, you know, if your partner, for instance, says, oh, physical attractiveness is super important to me. That doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you have to go now and get a gym membership and try and attain at like a, a high level of physical perfection or something. It just means usually when the partner says that, they're talking about, I was attracted to this about you initially, and that's important. And it can be anybody, male, female can have this, this need for physical attractiveness. It can be an important emotional need for them. The other two I'll talk together, number seven is financial support and domestic support. So those are two emotional needs also. Tend to be more important when families are involved, but uh, financial support, it really is, are we a team financially? Or are we a team domestically in terms of like sharing chores and things like that? Especially nowadays, you know, where, where um, partners tend to be a lot more equal across the board. The, the gender roles are not as clearly defined maybe as they used to be. It's a lot more dialogue has to go on about that, about uh, what are our roles? How do we support each other in that? And how is it fair for both partners? And the last one, by the way, it's the last one I'm going to mention, but that's not to say it's not important because believe me, this is important. But I'm not going to say who it's more important for. I'm just going to let you watch this and see what you think. The last one is called, is called admiration. In other words, it's a feeling of my partner is the president of my fan club. Okay, or I'm the, the president of my partner's fan club. They like me as a person. They respect me. They look up to me. They're rooting for me. They want me to succeed. They're willing to support success. Now that is very important. But again, maybe in another video I'll talk about, I will give the more generalized uh, men and women thing, which, which needs are prioritized differently in, in general for men and women, but that's, that's not important for this video. I'm just introducing them if you've never heard these before because it's super helpful. Now, they're just 10 and it's a framework, right? It's like a template for maybe an introduction to emotional needs, maybe what they look like. You can add to that list, you know. For you, it could be something like um, creativity. I want our, our relationship to be creative or something like that, right? Or it could be to be constantly improving as a couple or to be growing as a couple, for instance. So have a think of that. It can be a great thing to do to sit down with your partner and say, look, what would your emotional needs be? Because I'm thinking these are mine. And also just compare notes on that because it, it's highly likely that their emotional needs will not be a perfect match for yours. Guys, I'll leave it there for now, food for thought, and uh, I hope it helps. I'll talk soon.